And today we are very blessed to have Mary Lou Nash, who has spent her life serving the Presbyterian Church. And we have been very blessed by her expertise, her intelligence, her faithfulness, her love for, for a long time here at Grace Covenant in many different ways, including clerk of session when I first got here. Thank you. <clears throat> I guess I'm what you would call a cradle Presbyterian. My grandfather was a Presbyterian minister, and not too long ago, again, I came across his Bible, and it's a very, very thick Bible. It's a loose-leaf Bible, and I found uh, notes of his in there, parts of sermons and prayers. So I guess my connection with my faith started way, way long ago. Never met my grandfather. He was gone before I was born. But I have always been very, very close to the scriptures. And this because when you work in ministry over the years, the scriptures are the things that guide you. I remember Harry Fisher in the presbytery where I worked said, don't forget the Old Testament. It's the foundation for our faith. And so as the, through the years, as I have uh, used scripture for retreats, for workshops, for preaching, and for so many different things, I have come to focus on some things that were really important to me. One of the things that, a couple of the verses that I find that are very important in my faith journey are from Isaiah 43. This is what Isaiah has to say to us. But now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. The rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you will not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. And you know how many waters and fires we have been walking through for all of us. But, for I, I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. But this fourth verse is the one that I cling to. Because you are precious in my sight. And the scripture today that Marta read, how many times did we hear that word precious? What are, what are things that are precious to you? Not just things that are expensive. People whom we love. People who are friends, new friends, old friends. Things that mean a great deal to us. People that have mentored us in our faith journeys. Precious things in our lives. And God says, you are precious. You are precious, and you are honored. We are upheld by God. And the end of this verse says, and I love you. I love you. If you look around at this community and you understand the love that is shared, the love that goes out beyond these walls, the love that we receive from God that we share with other people. That's the important thing for me in my faith journey, remembering that I am precious, that you are precious, and think about the precious people and things that mean so much to you, and you mean even more than that to our Lord, and you are loved.
It's a beautiful thing to have that relationship. Maybe that's the most precious thing that we have. Bless you.